Sona Lovsessian has taken a temporary leave of absence. She's been out promoting her, her new book, World's Worst Assistant. Terrific, terrific effort by Sona. It's Truly. a really funny book. It's, it's out there, and she's, she's flogging that. Uh, she'll be back soon, but this is an opportunity. Sona's not here, which means we can dish on Sona, mm-hmm. and we can be completely honest. And to help us do that is Sona's own assistant, mm-hmm. who pretty much does everything <laughs> since the minute he was hired. Because, well, if you read Sona's book, you'll find that uh, she never really was my assistant. Mm-hmm. And soon she'll be back continuing not being my assistant. <laughs> um, but uh, David Hopping has mm-hmm. taken over. David, you're, you're a, an occasional voice here on the podcast. Mm-hmm. First of all, I'd like to know... Uh, how did you get this job? How did you get the, the job of being Sona's assistant? So I interned for you back in 2014. Mm-hmm. Then I was a tour guide on the Warner Brothers a lot for like two years. Mm-hmm. And like once a month, I would just come, just like walk through your office just to make sure people remembered who I was. Mm-hmm. And then... Uh, so you were running tours on the lot. Uh-huh. Were you ever present when a tour saw uh, me I was. walking along? I was getting and a tour once and you drove by on a golf cart. People must have just... Uh, lost their minds. I actually, it did work out perfect because I had two fans that were like huge fans of yours, and then you waved at them, and then I got tipped because they were excited that they saw you. So, so wouldn't I get some of that money? No, I would think I doesn't, would. No, it doesn't uh-uh. work. Though. Okay, first of all, I was sort of being doing a joke. It's I'm glad that it actually turned no, out that they were really work. excited. But I remember the tours would come around every now and then, and I would always feel like I had to have performance energy whenever a tour passed. Mm-hmm. I know that not everybody felt that way. There were other celebrities that would be like, eh. Meh tour mm-hmm. and they wouldn't give anything, right? Yeah, some hated the tours. Yeah, yeah. I probably shouldn't say who. No, no, yeah, you no. probably probably what? shouldn't say no, who. I'll probably should. Later. What? Pretty Little Liars. Mm-hmm. Really? Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Huh. I'm just think, guessing. If you're a Pretty Little Liar, you don't want to see a tour. Yeah. Some yeah. of them were really nice. Of course, we're not naming names, yeah. but occasionally there'd be a Pretty Little Liar one, who maybe didn't. One little liar. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if the literally is... ran away from my cart. I was like driving, and she had a security guard stop my cart while she like. Sprinted away. <laughs> what? Okay, we're not again. We, uh, we can't get in trouble because we're not identifying which Pretty Little Liar mm-hmm. ran away from the the tram, yeah. taking tourists. Yeah, like the biggest Pretty Little Liars fan. So then I was trying to come up with any excuse, and I was like, "Oh, I think she's in costume. Like she kind of spoilers, maybe." <laughs> I don't know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> she's late for a heart surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that that makes her seem noble. Uh-huh. She usually stops and says hello, but uh, <laughs> she needs di- she's late for dialysis. <laughs> First of all, their name is Pretty Little Liars, so mm-hmm. you, you'd expect that kind of behavior. Yeah, the fact that there's only on one. Brand. So anyway, um, that was your job. Then mm-hmm. Sona brings you on board yeah. to be an assistant, right? Mm-hmm. So I assisted her and Marie Weber at the time, who was mm-hmm. Jeff Ross's assistant, right? to basically just run errands for you and Jeff. Right. Get mm-hmm. me my basic... Uh, I'd you get know. your groceries. I would take your car to get washed. Okay. Um, you got me groceries? I don't remember that. Every Monday, I, I think go someone. I think someone else was using you to get groceries and saying these are for Conan. <laughs> I don't think so. I, I will never forget. I got the grocery list, mm-hmm. and on it, it said... <laughs> Whole carrots because Conan likes to peel them and eat them like Bugs Bunny. Oh my God! <laughs> That's just not true. <laughs> oh, of course it is. It is not true. Of course it oh, is. No, no. I would tell you if that was true, but what an insane thing to write on a I, list. I think I still have the list from 2016. Right? <laughs> Did it have my various creams and emollients that I need? No. Various potions. We never got you that. Powders, elixirs. No. But bombs. It, it did have. Roasted turkey. Poultices. I ate a lot of turkey back then. Mm-hmm. Lean uh, lean protein I liked because mm-hmm. I was a lean comedy machine. Mm-hmm. Mm. Now I'm a bloated parody of myself. Oh, wow. <laughs> it got dark so quick. I'm Merlin Brando at the end of Apocalypse Now. I'm going to grow three more. Uh, the horror. The horror. Swallow the bug. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll explain what that is to you later. Okay. Uh, I also asked off. So the day that I got hired... I asked off for four weeks before I started because I was going to Europe the next day. Wait, you got hired to assist Conan O'Brien, and you said my first request is to blow this off for four weeks. Well, you can I, do that. I yeah, you you should you really should have done it. Mm-hmm. Um, no, at the interview they told me I could start, and so I just said, "Well, I leave tomorrow for four weeks. Is that okay?" And Sona said it was fine. Okay. Yeah, sure. Sona said, she, <laughs> and she said she said that's a coincidence because I'm leaving tomorrow <laughs> for the Caribbean for six weeks. That's something she would do. Mm-hmm. Oh, great. We'll both be away. <laughs> Who'll look after Conan? I don't know. He'll find some turkey and carrots on his own. A freak. Was there any illegal activity in your time with Sona? Did she ever encourage you to break the law in any way? Because she's a little bit of a rule breaker. Well, I think it was legal then. 
What? What are we talking about? Well, the Ste- first... Stealing? <laughs> it <laughs> wasn't stealing. We oh. never stole anything together, I don't mm-hmm. think. Okay, I don't think. But one of the first times I ever tried weed was in your office. Like what? literally in his office? In my office at Warner Brothers? With Sona. We, this is a safe space, right? Like, we can't yeah. get in trouble. Oh, yeah. If we, there's no, re- oh, there's sure. no recording yes. device here. Okay, cool. In the podcast studio? Yeah, but like what's said on the podcast, like you can't get fired for, right? Uh, well, let's hear it, and I'll let you know. Yeah. Okay. This so is... wait, you're in you're in uh, my office at Warner Brothers Studio. It was a day where you did a double show, so you always gave like, you know, like there was always a dinner break, mm-hmm. and you were downstairs getting ready for the next show, and we went into your office and opened up the window. We did blow the smoke out the window. <laughs> This is where they shot Goonies, so, by the way. You so know, like, it's a, this is a sacred place. They shot Casablanca, and more important to you and Sona, Goonies. On your stage, they shot. Uh, they both shot. Of those? They, they did. shot. Uh, Casablanca was not shot on my stage. It was shot in and around. I think in a couple of locations. Mm-hmm. But uh, Goonies too. Goonies. You reefed up on the set of Goonies. Yeah, David mm-hmm. Hopping. Well, I'm the, proud of you. Uh, thank you. Yeah. So, so, so any so, tour that was going by would just see smoke. <laughs> now, did you did you get a good buzz going? Not really. I don't think I did it right. The first time, you don't always feel it. Yeah. yeah. I've tried it but, many times, and, and still? nothing really happens. Really? Yeah. You probably have such a firewall for any kind of brain-changing thing. You know what I mean? It couldn't get through I might that. be. I might yeah. be uh, just a strong barrier. Um, whenever they give me a medication, I need a lot of it. Really? For it to have an effect. And oh. I've heard that that's a red-haired thing. Really? That redheads need more of a medication. Yeah, that's actually... <laughs> he's, he's joking. How he's so that? shocked. I think really? you need something. <laughs> yeah. oh, 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 my, oh, my stars. Oh. Oh. Uh, so, anyway, that's a little digression. Mm-hmm. So, wow. So, that's... That's ballsy of Sona to get you. And then my first bag of edibles was from Sona, which kind of came from you because you rewarded her when she watched, like, whatever, 50 episodes of Friends. Yeah, she, we she did a up. thing if we could, because she watched so much TV work, I made a bet that she couldn't watch 50 episodes of Friends, and she did, mm-hmm. and I rewarded her with her favorite thing, uh, a kidding. bag of uh, edible gummies. And she kind of just, like, went through the hall as, like, the weed fairy, just, like, giving people wow. edibles. She's getting you guys hooked, yeah. and then she can mm-hmm. be a dealer. Yeah. The first one's free. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. What uh, I wonder if this is in her book. I don't remember. This I read part. her book. I don't that I don't part. I don't think this the part's book. in there. No. But other crimes are in her book. Yes, yeah. that's true. Now mm-hmm. you're the assistant, not just for me, uh-huh. but for Jeff Ross as well, because yeah. we've really pared things down a bit here. <laughs> so you're you're assistant to two of us. Mm-hmm. Sona, you're supposed to be assisting Sona, mm-hmm. but she's uh, she's off selling a book on a book tour, yeah. and the book's about. How she screws around all the time, uh-huh. and you do all the work. Mm-hmm. So is that fair? Do you have any resentment there? No. Because someday you get to write a book. Yeah. yeah. The world's most average assistant. <laughs> 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 all right. Well, listen, thank you, and please keep ratting her out. Okay. This is important. All right. Because if she were here, she's so loud and so defensive, she'd start yelling over all of this, and none of it would get recorded. <laughs> So this is really our chance uh-huh. to get the, the dirt on Sona. Mm-hmm. You're a good man, David Hopping. Thank you. you and are. again, a quick plug for your podcast. What's it called? Uh, Back to the Best. Back to the Best. And it's about mm-hmm. 90s trivia? 90s, early 2000s, nostalgia. A lot of Disney Channel. Um, yeah. Okay. So mm-hmm. you're screwing around, too, while I pay you. N- no? Yeah, Well, okay. Yeah, I know we have to wrap, but we Sona did come on my podcast, and we waited till you went down to rehearse your show once, and then we had my friend Grace, who I co-host with, come in, and we sat in your office and recorded our episode. What the hell is <laughs> this? Is unbelievable! Unbelievable! Um, I think it's like episode fifteen. I'm the, ult- the best. I am um, the ultimate chump. <laughs> I'm paying these people to get high in my office, record their own podcasts. My therapist meets me in your office and we do our sessions in there. (laughs) And then your therapist bills me. Yes. All right. Well, I guess I should be mad at you, but I'm just kind of impressed, Dave. Thanks. Yeah. So. Well done. David Hopping, well done.